Leaders of the West Central Africa Division of Seventh-day Adventists receive greetings from the leadership of Adventist World Radio. Greetings from our President, Dr. Dwayne McKee, the General Vice President, Dr. Ray Allen, and the Vice President for Finance, Elder Dilbert Pierman. Accept my apologies that I cannot make it for the EXCOM. As I compile this report, my passport is still held at the South African Embassy, leaving me with no time to apply for the Nigerian visa. But with the assistance of my counterpart and friend, the WAD Communication Director, Pastor Abraham Bakari, I was blessed to visit Sierra Leone, Cote d'Ivoire, Cameroon, Mali, and Ghana within the last one year. I look forward to visiting Nigeria and other WAD countries in the first quarter of the year 2024 by God's grace. Adventist World Radio remains committed as a tool God has given to us to make the spread of three angels' messages faster. According to a publication by Deutschwell under the title Radio Africa's Prime Media, some see radio as a medium of the past, but that's not the case in Africa. Despite the advent of the internet and social media, radio remains extremely popular on the continent. Adventist World Radio has been carrying the voice of hope to the unreached people groups all over the world for the last 50 years. Reaching out to people all over the world in their languages of heart. We reach out through FM stations, through shortwave broadcasts, through podcasts, through God pods. And now we have a special online presentation on YouTube and Facebook by President Dwayne McKee, the Vice President for Advancement, Kami Utman, and the Vice President Administration, Kyle Allen. Lately, we started ministering through life-changing tracts. These tracts also link the readers to other services that Adventist World Radio offers. Adventist World Radio 360 degrees from broadcast to baptism remain our theme. This theme is informed by the great commission that we find in Matthew chapter 28, verse 18, which charges us to make disciples of all nations, teaching them and baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. The three angels' messages have to be proclaimed to every nation, tribe, tongue, and languages. Advances World Radio has established at least 2,000 radio stations broadcasting in various languages around the globe. We thank the leadership of WAD for the great evangelistic drives in Ghana, for example, where under AWR 360 degrees mode of broadcast, thousands have been baptized. In Nigeria, we had listeners convention by the Northern Nigeria Union Conference, which AWR funded with up to 20,000 US dollars. And we are very grateful to God for the baptism of souls during this event. In Liberia, conversions are taking place by church congregations than, rather than by individuals. And we give glory to that. There is a lot more taking place than reported. And we would be happy if we were getting more reports on the blessings of God through our media ministry. In the recently concluded spring meeting by AWR leaders from around the world, the Africa region was given a specific budget for 2024 for new projects, evangelism and health outreach. A relatively generous budget was also put in place for the development of new radio stations. A special vote was also taken to rehabilitate 10 radio stations in Africa in the year 2024. 
we have a renewed focus on the West Central Africa Division, which I visited twice within the last one year. We need to do more for WAD in terms of radio ministry. A number of items from the West Central Africa Division were voted for funding by the, a by the 2023 budget. Transfers have been made or are to be made to suppliers and the division within this end year season. They include 18,000 US dollars for payment per program for the production of Tui language for 2021 and 2023 in Ghana. This should have been paid earlier, but there had been delays. 95,000 US dollars for the equipping of Adventist broadcasting services. 95,000 US dollars for the equipping of a new station in Kangaba in Mali. 15,000 US dollars for the upgrade of station premises in Lome, Togo. 95,000 US dollars for the establishment of a new FM station in Banga, Liberia. 95,000 US dollars for the establishment of another new FM station in Zwedru in Liberia. The ADCOM also voted to buy six radio stations worth over $1 million US dollars in Accra, Kumasi, Cap Coast, Sunyani, Tamale, and Bolgatanga. These purchases have been delayed pending a satisfactory due diligence report by the implementers of these projects. Among the projects of priority in West Central Africa Division of Seventh-day Adventists to be funded under 2024 budget is the establishment of an FM station at the WAD headquarters in Abidjan, Cote d'Ivoire. Installation of solar system for Novo Temple in Guinea-Bissau. Installation of a radio station in Cabo Verde setting up a radio automation system for Hope 98.1 FM at Babcock University. Establishment of Blessed Hope Radio in East Nigeria Union Conference. Radio Production Studio in Port Harcourt. Online Radio in Colabar. Upgrade of equipment for AWR 90.8 in Libreville. And establishment of a new radio station in Chad. We are also looking at rehabilitation of three radio stations in Cameroon, and that is particularly at Nangae Boko, in Yaounde, and in Deola. <laughs> Our Lord Jesus Christ said in Matthew chapter 24, verse 14, that this gospel of the kingdom will be preached in the old world as a witness unto all the nations, and then shall the end come. We feel so privileged and blessed as Adventist World Radio to be at the forefront of fulfilling this prophecy that was made by our Lord himself. I wish you the best during this executive committee meetings and I look forward to visiting with a number of you within the region together with our leader at the division in charge of communication, Pastor Abraham Bakari. To God be the glory and may God bless you.